Hello everyone and welcome back to Mars Horizon where we continue to work towards a landing on the moon with crew and here in active missions we have a pending crewed moon landing however we are still building our launch pad so that is going to take some time another two months so we're not we're not far away now we've got the rocket built and everything so let's just go ahead and proceed to the next month looks like we're getting Voyager points here, uh, so that's interesting. Mars readiness is low. Somebody explained that it's the average of the experience, expertise, and preparation. So, okay. Well, we'll have to get more of that. Okay, large launch pad is complete. And Voyager research is complete. So, got a lot of things going on here. So, first thing, let's get this active mission set up. Well, we could go by May. Uh, we see a little uh, Soviet icon there, so let's get to it. Uh, hopefully we can beat them. It's got to be complicated, I assume. I'm, I'm guessing there's got to be a whole lot of mini-gaming. So, yep. Alright. Uh, meanwhile, we do have another slot available. Does that mean we can do Voyager yet? Uh, I wonder how that... Uh, it would be a Jupiter flyby mission, yeah. So, okay. Mars expertise. It's all expertise around here. Okay, so let's head over to Jupiter and see if we can get that flyby mission. Yep, there it is. Okay, can we do a separate flyby of the moons? I'm guessing not. Okay, Jupiter flyby. Plan mission. We don't have to worry about the funds. We've got all that. Uh, it's really expensive, though. Uh, how much does it got to pay us? Uh, overview. Um, it doesn't pay us. Typical. Well, lots of research. Well, we've got the 5 million there, so let's see. Select payload. Build payload. So we are building Voyager. Research. Well, Neptune flyby. We could do the Saturn flyby as well, but I guess we want more Mars experience. So we'll have to think about that. But maybe we can build some. We don't have much room for buildings. Uh, vehicles? Any benefit to any of these? I guess we need to get one more from here in order to get the next level. Why don't we get some more SRBs? Because, frankly, I don't think we need Saturn V. Or Saturn II, for that matter. I guess the SRBs will give us more flexibility as far as configuring our launchers, so... Alright, we'll, we'll do SRBs first. That'll be quick. Okay. Here goes nothing. Crude moon landing. Demanding. Yes, I imagine it will be. Well, it's raining. Typical. How badly is it raining? Uh, terrible conditions. Well, we'll have to reschedule that. 20% uh, reduction. Negative 20% launch reliability penalty for a suboptimal launch date. Uh, hmm. And then we risk letting the Soviets go first. Here. Why do they get a nice launch date then? Optimal and suboptimal launch windows are reversed? Who decided that? That's silly. That's not how things work. Well, I guess we have to delay. Let's just delay to next month and see. Maybe we'll get really good weather or something. Okay, so we got the extra SRBs and unlock this tier. Delta 4, Titan 3. Why don't we just go strictly with the Japanese stuff and go with Mu? I don't know if there's any benefit to Mu. Especially since we have the Delta stages. We need four things from here. I guess it'll be SRBs, Moos, and Centaur D, maybe. 
Um, this is a 15 ton thing. The booster only carries 14 tons, but maybe with SRBs it'll be better. Yeah, we would be able to carry the Centaur D with boosters on the Moo. Okay, so Moo 5 is a large, requires a launch, large launch pad and has a capacity of 14 tons. Titan 3 has a capacity of 16 tons, is only medium. It has less build time, less build cost, less reliability, but more reliability per level. It alone seems to have a capacity of 9 tons. What are we going to launch that's going to be 9 tons though? 0.6, 8 point, I guess the Chandra Space Telescope would require a 9 ton thing. Orion is 120 tons for some reason. <laughs> uh... Well, I guess, if you combine it with the Mars mission and everything, I, I assume that includes the lander and everything, it's just shorthand. It's apparently got a whole starship with it. <laughs> or something. So eventually we'll need an upper stage that can carry 120 tons, so actually we... Even the Saturn II can't do that. Okay, so... Eventually, SLS block... Two can do Orion, and that's it. It has to be SLS Block Two the way they've got it here. Okay. Well, I guess we have to work our way towards it. Let's quickly knock out some moose just for the heck of it. I don't know. At least it's Japanese. Okay, let's try next month for the moon landing. Um, it's a suboptimal date. Let's see what's going on. Oh, well, it's a clear day. Adequate conditions. 62% launch reliability. I, I want to beat the Soviets. Go. I skipped the countdown, sorry. Okay. Saturn 1B to the moon. Let's not talk about it in great detail. Okay, what happened? What happened? Okay, whew. All right, all right. Secure launch. Breathe a sigh of relief here. All right, continue. Okay, perform translunar injection. Yes. That's a lot of things. Okay, let's try and perform a very good translunar injection. Um, let's, uh, we can parlay comms to that. So let's get a bunch of comms and then add some thrust. Let's try that. Okay, signal attenuation successful. Signal attenuation 2 is not, but we'll resist. Control burn successful. Okay, well Let's see, we could get our crew to get data, which can be parlayed into comms. Oh, that, that uses comms, so that, uh, okay, I, I can see, well, I mean, we could get some back here and three of the nav units. All right, I'll give it a go. We've got crew for a reason, right? And we'll have one crew use charge. Do that. Maybe that's a good mix. Let's find out. Okay, conduct experiments. Very important. That worked. Trajectory optimization is successful. And flight path control. 
Okay, we just need thrust. I mean, as a requirement. So let's... Let's use the data units to get some comms. And then use... I don't need more data. I just... More thrust. And... Maybe even more thrust. Okay. Barely boosted that transmission there. Okay, control burn was successful. That one is iffy. We'll use power to resist. Okay. Last turn, so we need two, two, and one. Let's see if we can manage it. Uh, we can get... Uh, we need... Well, that's not what we want, though. Well, that'll get everything. But we only have one ability to resist, then. Let's try it. Okay. Optimized. Now data collection is successful, so we basically made it. Alright, control burn is good. Okay, we got the bonuses. We have to achieve lunar orbit. Wow, 15 comms and 15 nav necessary for the bonus. And it's only a 20% bonus reward, jeez. Maybe I shouldn't sweat that. Okay, we can spend the data units for nav and comms. So let's get data units. Okay, let's try that. Successful visual spectrum sampling. Gyroscopic stabilization is good. And more visual spectrum sampling actually nets us a bonus. Okay. Well, let's spend the data. And... Maybe uh, we can get rid of one more data and get a whole lot of comms. And then maybe use power to at least get to the required amount of navigation. It's not a whole lot of good reason. Well, uh, it does occupy a turn, so. Otherwise, it's better to just use two turns for the nav. Okay, all those were fine. So we've got all the minimum requirements. And we've got the bonus requirement for that one. We just need four of those and seven of those. Well, let's have our crew get the four comms. And as far as getting to seven, we can use two turns for that. Uh, yeah, let's just go for it. Okay, that's successful. Location extrapolation... Resist. And that one is good. Alright, so just a little bit left. Last turn. We need more power. We'll do that. And I'll get another notch of power to resist. And we will resist. <laughs> Actually, probably we don't need to. We'll still get one point, I think. Anyway, we got the bonus. Perform Lunar Descent. That requires that wobble thingy. Okay, and we've got a lem there, too. They didn't mention the lem before, but uh, I wonder what kind of model we have for a lander for Mars, then. Okay, so we have to keep our drift to zero. And we need data, we need comms, we need everything. Five things, four things. Well, let's get the comms and... We'll allow a little bit of drift... Well, uh, so the data 
we can add drift that way. So maybe we stock up on data and then get we've yeah, and then get nav. Got a lot of power. Let's try this one. Okay. Manual data collection is okay. Experiments have been conducted. And gyroscopic stabilization is okay. Alright. Well, let's wobble the other way a bit. That will give us all of our comms. Well, except if we want the bonus reward. Uh, we can spend two comms, uh, so we'll maintain our requirement and get the rest, well, not the rest of the data, but a huge chunk of data. And then we're, we're neutral, let's just keep it that way. So that's the re minimum requirements done. Okay, we're a little bit off there, resist. Okay, experiments successfully conducted. Location extrapolation gave us an extra point. Okay, well, now we're in bonus territory. We can get more data like that. And... Spend some data and nav to drift back. That removes our bonus from the nav bit. I mean, not our success from the nav bit. So let's just stock up on navs then. So then we'll have this done. We'll need two of those and three of those. We can easily get three of those with one more charge. And then our peeps can handle the comms, is the plan. Well, we might need more charge than I'm expecting, though. Data compression is okay. And location extrapolation is okay. Okay, last turn. We don't want to lose our basic completion. Uh, let's get charge, get nav complete, and then they can get comms. And that should be all, all okay. Okay, we've got the nav, and we've got the comms. All right. So presumably we have landed on the moon. <laughs> Off it goes! Does somebody walk out and plant a flag? Oh, oh, it's coming down. Bumpy. Okay. Talk about slowing down at the last minute there, alright. Okay, yes, yes, they actually have a flag planting thing. Ah, yes, Japanese flag, very good. All right, task complete. Next task is dock with command module. So it's really modular, this mission. <laughs> yep, okay. At least we didn't have to do lunar liftoff separately. Uh, this isn't too bad. Data and nav is all we need. So, well, let's get some data like that, and 18 nav for the bonus, so let's uh, start collecting that in a hurry. We don't have any drift right now. This doesn't produce any drift, so let's just grab that. Okay, we got extra there. And flight path control is okay. So we, we're basically successful. And we can get bonus points now. Um, we could spend... actually, you know what? Let's spend one nav to get one extra of those to complete that, hopefully. And then we really need to stock up on nav after that. Or, uh, you know what? Mm, maybe we don't have to spend a nav, because we're going to probably want to do this one. Yeah, I don't know if that's the best combination, we'll see. Anyway, it preserves our completion. 
Light path control. All right, good. We need some charge though. Gyroscopic stabilization. Stabilization is, but we really need to be zeroed out there. Hmm. Well, we can spend the nav to get zeroed out again. Okay. And then we need lots more nav. So power. You know what? More power, and then we'll eventually do that orbital plane adjustment. Okay. Okay, last turn. We'll try the orbital plane adjustment, but that still leaves us one short. Well, we'll just have to rely on it all working out because we won't have a way to block a failure here. Well, maybe we do. Okay, well that was a, even a bonus point, so we're already done. Alright, good times. We have docked with the command module. Probably don't use the ascent engine like that, but okay. Perform controlled re-entry. Again, they could have had a whole breaking lunar orbit thing or trans-Earth injection. It's, it's good that they've limited this. It could have gotten much more tedious than it is right now. Okay, wow, that's a lot of heat. Um, let's spend the heat. So I want that and th th that spends heat and therefore does not generate heat, right? Okay, good. Uh, that's what I want. Uh, separate the service module though. Okay. If it's too cool, is that bad? <laughs> I don't know. I guess we don't have enough uh, heat to spin like that. So we need... We need nav. We have some data. Well, we'll go with that one. That'll keep us cool. Okay, that was very efficient. Okay, that was successful, and that's barely successful as well. The task will end if it, it went too fast there. So we need to be below 4, I guess it's trying to say. But then it could be 5, which seems like it's off scale. So how do I stop it from getting to 5? It We could accidentally roll a 5. Hmm. That's a lot of comms. Can we spend comms on stuff? I guess so. We want to get to 20 though. Well, that'll be the requirement. We've got zero heat right now. Okay, accept. And we got one point of heat. Well, let's see. We can use two data and one point of heat to get three more nav there. And for some reason, extra comms, but that's fine. And how about a little bit more power? Oh, no, I don't want data. Oops. I want nav. Got extra turns, so it should be okay. I'll get more power for now. Well, that'll get us to zero. What can I do, right? Unless I... No, I don't think there's any way to get below zero. Well, just one heat. Okay. Well, let us once again... Oh, can we spend one heat like this? Probably not. We don't have enough data. We'll get 20 like that. We can get some data and then spend the data to waste the heat. Okay, we'll do that. Well, anyway, the whole thing ends once we get that. Okay, they did knock off the service module. Good times. Parachutes. Okay, splash down. So we completed lunar landing, yay. And we were first. Very important.
Very, very important. And we were very bonusy. We got all the bonuses. Okay, they're all recuperating, so we're not doing any more crude missions for a while. Okay, so yes, Voyager is the next thing. Hey, do they have Pluto? They do have Pluto. Good. Do we actually have New Horizons or anything? Oh, the Grand Tour includes Pluto. Huh. That's new. Technically, on the Voyager uh, opportunity, they could have done Pluto. They could have gone from Jupiter to Pluto on that one. They couldn't have gone by all five on the same same flyby, though. Just uh, four max, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Well, let's see. We need two to unlock this, right? Yeah. So I guess we should do Mars Lander. Oh, we, we're still doing Move 5. All right. We'll wait on the Mars Lander then. Maybe we shouldn't. Uh, anybody working on the Mars Lander right now? Mm, Mars Lander. Nobody's working on it. But then they'll they'll just pop up and suddenly do it, though. Oh, we'll just proceed next month. Race to the Moon 1. We gained a thousand support. The world as one held its breath as your astronaut Mira Suneko stepped onto the lunar surface, becoming the first human in history to set foot on another planetary body. Media outlets across the globe are praising your agency's achievement. They said they'd get there first and they did it. Yes. Okay, now we've completed the Move 5 research, at least the lower stage. And so we can start with Mars Lander. Everything adds to Mars expertise though. Can we get a special Mars building? <laughs> Water suppression though, but that's a lot of science and cost. Neutral buoyancy lab. Well, that's not too bad. Anyway, we'll think about that later. Okay, next month, we're doing Voyager now. Magnificent Desolation. Yeah, they, they see, they got to the moon. They were second. Uh, if we hadn't gone on that month and taken the risk, they would have beaten us to it. Okay, Mars flyby is happening. Following the success of your crewed moon landing mission, NASA has requested that your agency shares the scientific data obtained during the mission. NASA representatives have stated that the gesture would greatly improve relations. Well, I think we have a policy of sharing scientific data. Okay. All right. Besides, NASA's lagging, so it's okay. All right, Jupiter flyby. Let's see. So we need something that can launch 900 kilograms to the outer planets. Well, we have a problem, don't we? Because this game doesn't work like that. I mean, of course anything that can launch with enough Delta V should be able to do it. But we need the Move 5 upper stage. Even though that's way overshooting. Nine tons to the outer planets it's got. I didn't know the Move 5 was capable of that. It isn't. But, uh... Centaur D has got even more capacity to the outer planets. And you can build it faster. Why wouldn't we just use that? Well, because I don't even know if we can launch 24 tons on anything reasonable. So, Wyvern, I've never heard of. Hmm. Centaur G is even bigger and more expensive and everything. HUA we can't research yet. DCSS we can't research yet. So it's all up to the Move 5. I guess we can't use anything smaller, but at least it's not that expensive. All right. Oshare. Okay. Uh, interesting name. So we need to change our research. Let's just change our research. We want to get this mission. Well, Mars Lander is almost done. All right, we'll wait. We'll wait one. Go to missions. Yeah, okay. Um, 
We can continue the Mars flyby mission. All right. Here's a little probe. Reaching Mars. We are obtaining scientific data. Man, this is looking much easier than the other things. Smaller numbers, much better. Now let's see, we can parley and some more data. Comms are expensive. Get some of that. Get comms like this instead of with power. And then use power and comms to get even more nav. Okay, pretty shoddy probe though, as far as its reliability. Eh, that just barely made it. And that will require a charge to save. Okay, we've got plenty of nav, which we can use to get that. That's good. And let's use one nav to get the rest of that. And then get more nav. Hopefully we'll only have to save... Well, you know what, let's wait on the last step and just get power. Oh, that was horrible. That was horrible. Resist. Okay, that's good. Mission data update. Okay, so basic requirements have been fulfilled. We need uh, two, three, and one. Let's see. Let's get that like that. And we're overdoing it on nav. We can get more data points like this. Okay. Flyover course adjustment is fine. Mission data update not so fine. Resist. And atmospheric sampling, uh, barely okay. All right. Okay, we just need one com point. Uh, I can spend one data, that'll be fine. Okay, we'll get power to resist, and that should do the trick. Yep. Yeah, just go for it. Alright, orbital realignment is okay, and that means we are successful. Atmospheric entry. I don't know if we wanted an atmospheric entry per se, but I, I suppose that means we made orbit. Maybe it's an atmospheric probe as a flyby. Okay, we are the fifth to complete Mars flyby, but hey, at least we did it. So, um, now let's wait a month so that we can complete the Mars lander research, and now let's do the Moo thing. Do the Moo thing. Okay, next month. Okay, we got the Mu-5 upper stage. Now we can plan the Jupiter flyby mission. So select that. Booster. We can... Yeah, I think we can use the Mu-5 booster. We just need some... Oh, it's, it's 14 tons, I guess. Is it? Oh, okay. Yep, 14 tons base. I must have misread it. Very expensive, though. Sugoi. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Uh, all right. That's expensive, but I mean, we're talking about a Voyager mission, so. 11 months. And our new research shall be Vesta, which I don't remember it being uh, Mars. Uh, do they mean Viking? Because I'm pretty sure it's Viking, but. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Viking. Oh, Era Completion Reward is the Pluto flyby mission. I didn't even see that over there, so. But apparently there's this 3 out of 19 thing. I don't understand. Um, so there was Optimized Assembly, so 11 out of 14. We got Space Systems Experience, apparently. That's a boost. There's a boost optimized assembly and then there's a mission reward if we get I don't know how we get those points but okay that's how it is okay next month we better get good funding 
Yeah, he got to level 10 funding. Uh, surprised we didn't just shoot up through to a level 11, though. Uh oh, there's a Soviet mission going out there. Hmm. Okay. NASA finally completed orbital EVA. Uh, it looks like the Soviets are launching a space station, which is their MO, so <laughs> it's good. Uh, continuing, we should probably do some money mission or something. Life support test, no. Spacewalk maneuvering, maneuvering evaluation. Oh, there's a joint mission with China. That gives us some more Mars experience. Hmm. This one gives us Mars experience too. Spacewalk. Vehicle upgrade as a reward. It's challenging though. Well, I want that Mars experience, so that's important. We'll spend some money on that. If uh, Gemini will do, it looks like Gemini or Apollo. Gemini will do. Apollo is more expensive. Um, reliability is only a minor upgrade. Okay, build that payload. Um, let's see if there's some Moon or Mars things that... They need to get some requests for Mars, you know? Somebody must be interested in it. Okay, Lunar Roving. Wow, that's a lot of money. Lucrative, yeah, it's lucrative alright. And Mars Experience. Let's do some Lunar Roving. Do we need to, like, build a rover? Oh, no, it's just uh, another Apollo, but that's... So it's, so it's expensive, but lucrative, so alright. We'll give it a go. We shouldn't only do one Apollo mission after all. Okay, now we've got some stuff going. Okay, design vehicle. Spacewalk maneuvering unit. Upper stage. Well, Delta K should be fine. Yeah. Definitely the best choice. Everything else is overkill. And the booster, but boy is it expensive. Delta K alone is 1,200? I mean, 1 1.2 million? Jeez. Actually, uh, this requires a larger rocket, but hold on, let's, let's examine the situation. Let's say we select Delta K and then we select a Delta rocket with two boosters. So that's 1.6 million. So that's not too bad. Um, Titan with no boosters will be more expensive. Mu is way more expensive. Okay, so, but then what if we change the upper stage to the Mu upper stage? Uh, let's, let's do that actually, yes. Now, change the booster. We can't use those, but we can use the Moo booster. It's not too different, but we could get more experience with the Moo booster, so that's interesting. Oh, that's expensive. So, yeah, but 11 month build time, 1.7 million, compared to 9 month build time, 1.5 million, or 1.6 million, 10 month burn, uh, build, burn time. Build time. Um, I think We'll bite the extra one month and the extra little bit of cost and get our Moo Booster more experience. Well, let's go for it. Expensive, though. Okay, I think I'll wrap it up here this time. So we've got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, we've got the Voyager mission, we've got a spacewalk. Uh, MMU basically, maneuvering unit, and a rover mission all underway. We're building them all and we'll need more budgets pretty soon, uh, but we'll see. So all of that is happening. We have successfully landed on the moon with crew and with that I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.